Rebel's CGR gravel bike picked up two gongs in the Road CC Bike of the Year awards. The steel frame CGR725 was our overall gravel bike of the year and the CGR ALE was our road and gravel e-bike of the year. So two very different bikes, but both great rides. We're gonna take a closer look at both of them today and what makes them award winners. Before we do though, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you get notified every time we post new content. We pick our bikes of the year from the bikes that our tech team have ridden and rated so only bikes we've actually put the miles into can be included of course and our reviews are independent so this is advice that you can really trust there's a link to our bike reviews in the description each year we sit around with a mince pie or two and decide which bikes of all the ones we've tested should be included there's been less sitting around together this year of course and getting together for these videos has been a little bit complex too so now i'm going to hand over to liam and dave in the cozy road cc club room to take an in-depth look at the two award-winning ribault cgrs take it away guys Thanks, Becca, and welcome to the Road CC Clubhouse. Dave, the ride quality is the main point of these bikes, so shall we get straight to that? Yeah, let's do that. Both of the CGRs that we've had on test really impressed our reviewers with the ride quality. Now, this CGR 75 here revolves around Reynolds steel tubing and a carbon fork, which we thought gave the CGR a smooth and fun ride, and that's regardless of whether you're on the tarmac or you're on loose surfaces. Now, the CGR ALE that's in front of me gets a more wallet-friendly aluminium frame, again, with a carbon fork. Again, we loved the ride quality that the CGR provided. And of course, that's helped by the motor. More on that in a bit. Yep. Now, the sort of jack of all trades moniker that is often seen as a negative, as it means the bike isn't really great at anything. Really, that's one of the CGR's selling points. Now, the fact that you can have one bike that will do so many different types of riding means that many riders will love it for the versatility that it allows the rider to put into their route selection. If you're out on a leisurely road ride and you spot a gravel road that you fancy exploring, you can just point the CGR at it and go. Fancy heading into the woods for the day? Well, the CGR is perfectly capable of that too. Yeah, I mean, as we said in our review, unless you're lucky enough to have a wallet large enough and a garage deep enough, or the other way around, <laughs> to house every subset of riding niche from you know pure road all the way to pure gravel, having one bike that's equally happy taking care of the daily commute and the weekend gravel or road riding adventures, you know, that is a strong plus. Yeah, so the CGR's frame set benefits from a geometry that allows you to take on those varied surfaces with confidence what you're getting is a blend of elements from the disciplines that give the CGR its name, so cross, gravel and road. You'll find a fairly tall head tube that's good for off-road position, a low bottom bracket for cross stability, and figures that kind of split the difference with a road bike elsewhere. Yeah, the handling on the road is very neutral. I mean, at normal cruising speeds, the CGR is very well behaved, so it'll take on all types of corner, you know, long ones, flowing ones, short and sharp ones, with very little input from you, the rider just have to point and shoot it really. There's no surprises, I mean you can just keep spinning the gears and focus on where you're heading. It is a surprisingly easy and fun bike to ride. So one frame set family but two very different builds. Dave can you just talk us through the spec sheet on each bike? Yeah okay before we look at the spec let's take a look at um, the two bikes that we tested. So it's worth mentioning that alongside the stock builds that Ribble offers on the CGR range you are able to choose a fully customised bike using the Ribble Bike Builder. So that's an excellent way to get the bike that's going to be perfect for your riding without needing to spend money on, on changing parts that you've already bought with your new bike. So you can add in things as well like mud guards and things like that that are made to fit the bike. So that is one of the biggest benefits for sure. In terms of what we actually have here though, the CGR725 has 650B wheels, it's a 1x11 speed Shimano GRX group set, and quite frankly, you're looking at a bike that can be a road bike on the Saturday, a gravel adventurer on the Sunday, and then a commuter through the week. Yeah. So that is one of the biggest benefits for sure. In terms of what we have here, we have a 105 70 20 group set, um, it's got a 5034 chain set up front and 1134 out back. That's a, a very good spread for the road. In terms of this build, it is actually set up really nicely for the road, though. 
I did get to ride it off-road too, and it was equally good fun. And you know, there's space for nice wide tires here, and we always love to see mounts for mud guards and a rack. Now, our test build was a little on the weighty side by road standards at 12.25 kg, but swapping out the wheels to something lighter and you can easily knock a kilo off. Getting the weight down just a bit has a very noticeable difference on the responsiveness of the bike. However, weight is never the primary focus of a steel road bike and excellent ride quality means that you won't be too bothered by a little extra heft in the frame. Yeah, absolutely not. And in fact, as we pointed out in our review, a little bit of weight can be a very good thing, especially for commuters and when you're riding on the broken winter roads. So you get quite a planted feel with the CGR as it's spec'd here. That gives the rider more confidence and it enhances that smooth ride that the steel frame was designed for in the first place. So the build that we have here, well, this is a much more off-road bike. Uh, we've got a one by 11 group set here. This is the Shimano GRX 600 group set. We've got a 40 tooth chain ring up front. We've got an 11 to 42 tooth cassette in the back. That's a mouthful. What I want to point out with this is that the braking is brilliant. Um, I didn't think that Shimano could make their hydraulic discs any better, but they kind of proved us wrong. Right, moving back to the CGR 75, the main point of a steel frame is the tube set. So do you want to tell us a bit more about the 725 tube set? Yeah, absolutely. The 725 gets its name from the grade of steel tubing it's made from. So this is Reynolds 725, a heat treated chromoly steel that is triple butted, differing wall thicknesses that is, uh, giving a balance of stiffness and comfort. Yeah, nice. The welding's really neat and tidy and this deep blue paint job and the copper detailing give it a really plush look. So if uniqueness is your thing, you can select Ribble's uh, custom color option and choose whichever paint job you like for a price. So, <laughs> oh, so one of the hardest things to get right with a steel frame is how to blend the skinny traditional tubes of the majority of the frame with the modern additions like a tapered head tube and a chunky carbon fork. The hourglass shape that Ribble has chosen for the head tube works very well, we reckon. Uh, softening the way it blends with the top tube and the down tube, the fork legs tie in nicely and running the brake cable through the fork, well, that gives it a very clean look. Yeah, and Ribble has even managed to get a bit of internal cabling going on with the frame, which is impressive with such narrow tubes, even if it's only the rear met cable, which runs from one end of the down tube to the other. Other touches are the 12 millimeter through axles, front and rear, it's not always seen on steel frames, and flat mounts for the disc calipers. Keeping the traditional vibes going, you'll get a threaded bottom bracket sitting between the cranks and the frame. Let's move back to the ALE. So let's have a quick look at that motor. You know I love chatting about motors. Oh, uh, you know more yeah. about motors than I do. <laughs> so Ribble has opted for Marla's e-bike motion X35 system, as have the likes of Bianchi and Orbea and Cornago and Cannondale and Pinarello with lots of people. So weighing in at three and a half kilos, it's a very well-respected setup um, and it's easy to find support for it as well because there's a lot of it about. Providing the juice is an internal 250 watt hour battery and the system gives you pedal assist power with 40 newton meters of torque. That sounds like a lot. In reality, this isn't the most powerful of motor options out there, I'm told, but it does provide a generous helping hand for riders that need it and it's a good choice for this bike, I'd say. I guess, Dave, the main benefit of this system is that the bike doesn't actually look that much like an e-bike. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, a lot of the time it doesn't ride like one either. So should you end up riding without the motor, be that because you've gone above the 15.5 mile an hour limit or the battery's run down or you're just not using it, you know, it simply rides like a normal gravel bike a lot of the time. It's not an especially heavy bike. I just rode it over here for filming and I forgot to turn the motor on <laughs> and I didn't notice. There's a, a glowing endorsement. There's an anecdote. Yeah. Right then, Dave, the 725 has won gravel bike of the year and placed third in overall bike of the year. If that wasn't enough, the CGR ALE also won gravel e-bike of the year. Why are they here? So the CGR is really a bike that can do a bit of everything and it does it very well. Um, we like it because it offers so much to a rider that's looking to get a bike that can tackle a number of different riding types. After all, very few people have the money and quite a few people don't have the space to have a different type of bike for every different type of riding. And we all know that one of the best things about getting on your bike is just 
going wherever you fancy. And having a gravel bike makes that so much easier. You can go along the road, you can see a bit of off-road you want to do, hop onto that, mix things up a bit. That's why we like them. And these two are especially good, and that's why they're in our list of bikes of the year. And I very much like the E version as well. It's great. So that is the Ribble CGR725 and the Ribble CGR ALE. And those are two of our bikes of the year. Indeed. Uh, if you like this video, then don't forget to like it. You can subscribe to see more. And if you click the little bell icon, you'll get a notification whenever we upload a video. Yep. Thanks for watching.